It's happening now. Preparations are underway this evening at the Augusta Common for Arts in the Heart of Augusta, now just a few days away. Starting Friday, hundreds of vendors and thousands of visitors will be lining all up and down Broad Street. Your Hallie Turner has a look at one of the largest arts events in our area. It is, and that's why crews have been out here all day, days before this event even kicks off, setting up these tents behind me. As you can see right over here, they've got a couple more to go for the next several days. But this year, thanks to a tourism grant, the festival is hosting headline artists. Ticket sales are soaring, and leaders are projecting more than 100,000 people to be right where I'm standing this weekend. They say it's creating a big impact for our downtown. As a professional photographer and documentary producer, Mark Albertson has been plugged into the Augusta art scene for years. People don't realize we have a huge art community here. We have a lot of things going on. We have potters here, we have painters, we have dance, we have music, we have so much happening. And the exciting thing about it is, it's a chance for us to appreciate the arts here in Augusta this coming weekend with Arts in the Heart. We spoke right in the very place where Augusta's beginning to transform into the popular multicultural event. No, every city doesn't have something like this, and we are very fortunate to have this. It's been going on for decades, and it just continues to grow and grow. It's just a wonderful opportunity to showcase our local arts community and our many cultural um, communities as well. Right now, these tents are empty. But soon, you'll see 150 of them filled with food from around the world, arts and crafts, and more, attracting people by the masses. This year, we are estimating that it might bring about $1.6 million in, um, in direct economic impact. Uh, a lot of that really is for people that are locals who are coming and just spending their money. Locals like Alberton, who come for a taste around the world. It's like, my God, the smells are everywhere. You smell these different things like, what is that cooking? I have to try that. And leave, coming back for more. This says downtown Augusta. It's where it is, where it belongs. It brings people down here. You learn about other businesses that are down here when you're walking around. Now, this is just the start of the setup and it continues tomorrow. A big thing to remember is starting tonight at 11, road closures begin. The parking wells that you park right down here on Broad Street will be closed. You won't be able to get down here on foot, but it's a three day event all kicking off on Friday. Hallie Turner there at the Augusta Common Forest. Tickets for this event are $15 right now. They go up to $20 at the gate. We have the link to get those tickets on our website, wrdw.com. And as always, there are some road closures to watch out for. This map from the Arts in the Heart website shows the available parking for the event. That highlighted green area showing parts of Broad Street that will be closing for traffic starting tonight at 11. So these road closures are going to last all the way through Sunday evening when Arts in the Heart wraps up its business. So just keep that in mind if you're heading downtown at all over this next week.